god, it stresses me out so much. This is why I've like come to you for this because it's something that stresses me out, and this is what CBT does, and it's going to change your mindset. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eve Hemingway. So my channel is based on how I can use my own experience to help other people. Whether that be mental health, or parenting, or fitness, or in this case, if you lose things, like I always do, I have a solution to that. I know at the moment I only have a small amount of subscribers but I just want to say I love each and every one of you guys and if you want to see more of these videos then please encourage me by subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. So yeah, I do actually lose things all the time. I used to get really stressed about it but I'll talk to you about that in a sec of how I overcame that. Probably the worst thing I've ever lost b because it was so expensive and because it affected someone else was Paramore tickets that I had back in 2013. I had bought them months in advance. I think I actually bought them on priority moments. Yeah, I had bought them for like me and my friend and when it came to the day before we were gonna go, I was like, oh, I need to like find my tickets. And I literally could not find them anywhere. Like even to this day, I do not know where they were. <laughs> oh my God, that was so stressful. I remember like crying so much. I mean, I was only a teenager back then. And obviously you have all those like teenager hormones, but yeah, I was in such a mess. Yeah, and I obviously couldn't find the tickets in the end and we were going the next day. So I just had to buy two new tickets for me and my friend because obviously I'd lost his as well and I didn't have mine so that cost I think it was like £45 per ticket so obviously that's £90 and then plus the £45 that is how much I had to spend to see Paramore it was a good job that I was literally obsessed with Paramore at that time I'd like to say it was worth it also another thing that I actually lost recently with my car um, I needed to like top the water coolant radiator coolant thing up because it was like running low and it had come up and flashed with the red light on my dashboard so yeah all I had to do was just fill that up and then about a week or two later like that came on my dashboard again I didn't think that I would need to be topping it up this much and it was also the first time I'd actually topped it up and then I was like okay I'll go get the the coolant again and to fill it up and then I looked at my car and I had actually lost the cap on the water coolant. I couldn't believe it. I, uh, that's how bad I am when it comes to losing things. Like how, how did I manage to lose that? I had to buy another one on Amazon for like seven pounds, but that is probably the, one of the most stupidest things I've ever lost. I always lose my phone as well but people would always get really annoyed at me for asking them to call my phone i would be always like oh my god i've lost my phone again you need to ring it and then you can't hear it anyway because it's on vibrate or it's on silent but something that i did actually figure out was if you haven't actually lost your computer or your laptop then you can actually search ring my phone and if your phone is connected to your Google account, then you can literally sign in on your laptop and click ring and it rings your phone. It, it rings it on loud as well. So even if your phone is on silent, it'll ring like the loudest. I have for you today a Bluetooth tracker. I think that's what it's called. It says anti-lost theft device. It's like a little fob that you can attach to things that you tend to lose a lot. I got this off eBay for 2 75 free postage and it came within about five days. I must talk about all the time that I've lost something and obviously nowadays there's a conspiracy that your phone can hear you. So I'm guessing my phone heard me talk about all the times that I've lost something and then it popped up with this amazing thing. You get an app for your phone. So the device is <laughs> it actually still says still out of range so let's click on that to see if it actually does anything 
I actually don't understand this. Yeah, it still says it's out of range. So let's uninstall the app because that's really annoying. Okay, we got it to shut up. Okay, so because that was a bit of a fail, I will actually tell you something that did help me, that can help you for the future without using technology. You can just use your brain for this instead of buying shit off eBay. So my therapist actually taught me something about losing things. I probably would have lost something recently that for some reason it had a huge effect on me that week and I needed to talk about it. Um, but yeah, and then she was like, she did the typical therapist thing and she was like... And how do you feel about that? Obviously, I was like, oh my god, it stresses me out so much, this is why I've like come to you for this because it's something that stresses me out and this is what CBT does and it's going to change your mindset. So yeah, she gave me this amazing analogy that really made me change the way I think when I lose things, like completely. So yeah, it was an, an analogy, there was a guy driving down to work, he was already late, he knew he was going to be late, so he was on the highway or on the motorway or whatever and he his car broke down so he had to pull up and he was like oh my god and he just sat there and he was like oh my god I'm gonna be late for work what am I gonna do what if it's this what if it's that what so I needed to fill up my fuel I should have done it I saw a gas station like just down the road I should have done it there yeah he was dwelling on all the things that he should have done that was not helping him at all so then like 10 minutes later he finally got out of his car opened up the bonnet and he found that it was just a plug that had like come loose or something like I can't remember exactly what she said but it, it was something simple and all he had to do is just reconnect it and then there we go he was back in his car and he was driving along on his way to work but he was so late because he had spent so long in his car like panicking about like what he could have done and he cried and he was obviously going to be in an emotional state for the rest of the day and then she asked me at the end of the analogy so what could have he done differently i think when you're an outsider looking on the in you can you have more of a clear mind to be critical about what they could have done differently so i said obviously he should have just got out straight away and looked at his car and checked like what it was instead of thinking about all these things like he should have refueled his car and it wasn't even that problem anyway and he was dwelling on the past and he was like why didn't I do this why didn't I do that so yeah he just got stressed out for no reason and that is what I do when I lose things and I'm sure if you lose things quite frequently like I do like it is so stressful especially like when you need to be somewhere and you do end up being a lot later but yeah what I do now is I just sit down and think when was the last time I had this but yeah Thank you for watching. If you do want any other advice or empathy on mental health or advice on fitness, then please go and check out my other videos. And remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one.